We're intimately and ultimately children of the star. She was born to an architect father who from an early age inspired in her a passion for the stars. At secondary school, she had to fight to be allowed to study science, a luxury which had previously been reserved for the boys. Despite this, she finished top of her class, securing a place at Glasgow University, the only female in a class of 50, where, unfortunately, she was subject to ruthless objectification. Undeterred, Bell pursued higher education at Cambridge University, she was part of a project using radio telescopes to search for quasars. It was then she noticed an odd pattern in the charts. She had found the first ever pulsar. These rotating stars blast out pulses of radiation at regular intervals. They have greatly aided our understanding of the universe. The light we received from them reveals secrets like how matter acts under incredible pressure, like in a black hole, and helped us understand Einstein's theories of general relativity. But when time came to receive commendations, the media refused to take her seriously, on account of her sex, and the Nobel Prize for the discovery went to her male supervisor. Even when, 42 years later, she was finally recognised for her contributions to the field. She donated all her winnings to help minority groups enter the world of science. She had changed astronomy forever, and despite receiving no credit for it at the time, continued to inspire women across the globe. And that is why Jocelyn Bell Burnell is our unsung hero.